Here to weigh in on this further is Beth Garza. She's an energy expert with the research group, the R Street Institute, and previously served as the director of ERCOT's Independent Market Monitor. Beth, welcome back to the program. Thanks for being with us. Happy to be here, Karina. Your job in that role with ERCOT as the director of the Independent Market Monitor was to recommend improvements to the wholesale market redesign. So what do you make of these performance credit mechanisms? I, I believe that the, the performance credit mechanism as outlined is a, is a concept worth pursuing. And we just need to be well aware of the fact that it's not a fully formed um, in, ready for implementation idea. It's a concept that will require further refinement and development. And I, for one, think that that effort is, is, is well worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, we were just hearing this, and some of the critics um, don't think the plan will work because they say it doesn't guarantee new generation, um, just a lot of extra revenues for the existing generators. I mean, what's your take on that criticism? It, it's uh, it's a fair, you know, in, in one hand, it's a fair criticism. Yes, it is more money for more for existing generators because we want those existing generators to stay around. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it all comes down to the level of reliability that the current market is bringing to the ERCOT system. And if that current level of reliability is insufficient on its own, we need to figure out is there another, you know, another appropriate market-based mechanism to bring some more revenue into the market. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of risk involved here, the first of its kind kind of proposal here. I mean, what, as you see it, what would it mean? Or is it a matter of just trying it out in terms of making the grid more reliable? I think there's tremendous value in the what I call the stakeholder process. That is all of the disparate interests that are involved in the electricity market, and that includes consumers and producers, and working together on the concept of should we define a mechanism such that on the uh, least reliable days those generators that are actually providing reliability get paid money by the loads that are actually consuming. Mm. And that in, in a elevator pitch is what the PCM concept is. Tremendous uh, details, number of details have to be worked sure. out. Um, but I think, you know, I think through the process of asking those kinds of questions, the the opportunity for a consensus or yeah a little bit of sausage making frankly you know can prevail and 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 come up with a mechanism that works on both sides. Beth, we just have about thirty seconds left, and we'll see how all this this fight plays out at, at the legislature this session. But biggest thing is what will this mean for consumers' bills? And I think that's the big question everybody's asking. I, the impact on consumers' bills in the near term are forces regard it's separate and apart from any of this market design uh, stuff. The uh, impacts in the natural gas markets, international natural gas markets are having tremendous impacts on current bills. This market design concept at best would be implemented three or four years down the road. Mm -hmm. That's when you might start seeing some amount of adjustment or, or impact on consumer bills. So nothing to worry about right now, although there are some big things hitting consumers and their bills right now. It, this is not it. Yeah. Beth Garza, we will continue, obviously, to talk about this issue. We'll get you back on. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.